I mean, I have a good idea of, of <laughs> when I've been out and about and painting over over 70. Five years, yes, easily, easy, yeah. 75 years when I first started. I'm not saying I'm good yet, after all those years. Still no good. <laughs> you see, it's practice. I'm still practicing yet. That's what it is. I'll start when I give up. I'll give up practicing when I think I'm okay, I can paint. But until then, I won't be bothering stopping because I enjoy it so much, finding out, giving myself different things to do and in painting. Apart from very detailed stuff, I've just not got the patience. You can do this do this one in five fifteen 15 minutes. That's it's plenty of time to be sat, sat, sat on a stool painting. And the colours, I, I like different colours to skies and that just uh, makes it so exciting to paint that when it does that. I don't want to be like other people, you know, use the same colours. See, I'm balancing it there at the top again with the old balancing trick. They all did it. They all do it. You have to balance it. See, I'm not saying I've got it balanced well. And it's still a little bit streaky, especially around this blue right here, a dark blue colour, which, of course, is mixed with uh, a paint's grey and a bit of uh, blue in it. Now I've just popped a little bit of crimson in it, actually, there. Can you see? Just to give it, I thought it would have a bit more bite with a little bit more crimson rather than that blue. I think I've overdone it though. See, this streaks I'm leaving there, well it shouldn't be like that. If I'd have put a bit more water on my brush I wouldn't have got those streaks. See, I'm not, I'm putting paint to add neat onto my brush. There is a bit of dampness in the paper, but not enough really to uh, to spread it so it would like blend out more. Can you see? It's just dried off a little bit too much, this paper. I like the paper. It's a good paper. It's a professional watercolour paper, 140. Not too expensive, actually. The cheapest ones I could get. Well, I'm just putting... Uh, making it a snow scene at the bottom here. I noticed that, uh, like even in a coloured one, if I was doing it a coloured scene, there's certain colours they, they always used. Different painters stuck to one colour, the one they liked. And uh, I must say, I find the colours very attractive. And if you stick them in your mind and remember them and you're doing another painting, well, you're laughing because you've no need to think what colour shall I use here. You'll use one colour for all your greens. Or you mix one colour, then stick with it for all your greens. Just add in a little bit of raw sienna in it here and there, or a little bit of burnt umber. Add in a bit of blue to your burnt umber and things like that. That's in the, the, that bit of red there. It's a little bit of uh, light red, that with a little bit of raw sienna in it. You know, things like that. I'm just touching it, just touching blue in here, and then I don't know, just put that bit of red, thinking, well, it might get a bit of a shine from the that little bit of a warmth in the sky blending over there, coming down and catching the snow a little bit. But of course, I'll probably go over it in a bit, so here we go, see? A little bit of, uh, I don't know why, always a bit of yellow always look nice in the snow, doesn't it? As a, a bit of a grass here and there, a bit of orange or a bit of lemon, uh, something like that. No, no, not lemon, you don't go into a lemon. A raw sienna would be okay. So if you put a lemon in, you could put a lemon in, 
uh, maybe some some of the trees, but I doubt it would be right. You stick to certain colours for certain um, certain things, don't you? You know, we know in our own mind that. See, I'm just trying to make a little bit of. It's not really a big enough piece of water that to, to put any reflections in. I'm just trying a bit of reflection and there, see, from a few reeds. Uh, reeds are a, a really nice thing to put on the edges to, to, to make them look nice, you know, good. The bottom reflection in the water is usually darker, have you noticed as well? Some, not always, but... It, well, darker if it's a still still pond and and there's and it's got uh, things around it like uh, trees and that they're they're making it darker and the shadows in the water aren't they as well, you know they're keeping the light out. So I think you'd probably get a different reflections, darker and lighter in places, and reflecting what's on the the bank behind you. Uh, it's obviously what I'm going to do here is put a bit of a background in. Uh, it's not right, this one. It should have been just a straight background, but what I thought of doing was just putting some some uh, bushes, dark bushes, winter bushes, where they go very dark and reddish colour, some of the bushes. So I, I thought of putting some bushes in, but I don't think it's right in that position there anyway. But anyway, I put them in and it's... It's okay. I'm giving it some belt in depth. I wanted some depth in it. It was very striking if you can put some dark, very dark in. Especially in a winter day, on a winter scene, isn't it? You know, I'm not saying I know I've been doing. I do. I, I just do what I like doing. Everybody should do take to what they're doing and what they like. See, I try to put a bit of distance there. In between those trees, but well, probably I'll make a mess of it in a minute. I'm narrating this to you because there's some guys next door and they've got a, a the building and they've got a radio on, and I thought I would try it. So I'm just having to remove all the sound off it because uh, I wasn't sure about whether they were coming out with the beef or what. You know, you don't know, do you? You know what they like, builders. And also they have a radio going, don't they? They have to have radio of some kind. They have to have some noise. If they're not banging, uh, banging something, they'll, they'll have noise from a radio instead. I don't know. It's a thing with them. I'm stretching it now because I, it was starting to buckle. It's a thin paper. This is that uh, 90 pounds, is it? This Very good, though, you know. It's white, this one. It's... Uh, I think it was a small Winsor and Newton. Yes, it is actually, yes, it, it is. It, I think it is Winsor and Newton, yeah. Now I want that beautiful tree, which, uh, now it, <laughs> it's funny, I've been doing, I, I love doing trees like this, and I've not been copying them with other people, but do you know strange things and all? I do what Weston did, it, looking for these trees which are out of shape, and if you look, he's copied off, so you go, hasn't he, you know? Because what's more boring than a round ball of a tree? A perfect shape tree. There's nothing more boring than a perfect shape tree, is there? Hey, you don't look at it, do you? Now, if you see a queer shape tree, tree bang, your eye goes right to it, doesn't it? Can't stop it yourself, can you? Now, I've got some really dark, because because I'm using uh, these cheap paints, you know, I'm, I'm using uh, Payne's Grey. Or uh, one of my friends will say Payne's Grey, you know, so, but that's no respect. I love them. I love the old brummies. I was uh, in the army with them, some nice guys, a lot of guys. Well, I take I, I do have a go at some. I, I do say the Aussies, you know. All right, mate. 
with the Aussies. It's just the same saying that, isn't it? Where are you going, mate? I'm doing up this show it sometimes, Aussies. Yeah. You point in here now, mate, and you go across here and touch it here. They seem to be shouting. No, Alan's touching these and he's not saying no, but you want to hear him. He's, is this for I'm worse than anybody I'm sir? How can I ever say anything against anybody else? We are talk. You know, how many on the end you? Where are you going and all that, man, I lost. Yes. Oh, yes. Some should go, not go as far in the snow as others should in them poles. I'm going to try and put some barbed wire this. No, no, I'm not putting nothing in here, am I? And just a bit of shadow. A bit silly, really, because there wouldn't be one, would there? there? Never mind, it's all poetic licence, isn't it? Artistic poetic licence. Now that looks like barbed wire, isn't it? Rather than a big thick piece of wood going across. It could have been a river that, you know. Now the blue patches in the foreground in, in the snow don't look too bad now, do they? I'm just putting a tree in there. You can just get a little bit of a reflection. Twirly, twirly, you know how you do it. You just twirl your, your, your brush. When you're coming down, you just shake your brush in the water. Now, this is where you get a lovely tree. Sometimes you get, I could have put a branch coming out and yet been to nowhere. You know what I mean? That The, the main branch could be coming out and going to nowhere. I've no leaves whatsoever on it, on the tree. Just a, just a branch sticking out and no leaves on it whatsoever. That was an old trick to make it people look at a tree as well. Wasn't it, you know, put a... I try and be friends with every artist, me, but they don't want to be friends, really. Don't know what's up with them. I call a spade what a spade. I love everybody. I love all artists. Nothing wrong with liking somebody, is there? Just because they, they might be a worse painter or a better painter, there's nothing wrong with liking them. Not right with some people, though. It was all oh my, you know. Like that. That's a lovely white paper, isn't it, that? And it looks whiter. I don't know if you get in it, we'll be getting it to, at your end when I put this on. There you are, already. Two of them are on a wall, one on one side, one on the other, and, and stand back, and they would just jump out at you, wouldn't they? They're not one of these uh, paintings where everybody's, everything's detailed. Then when you stand away, you can't see anything. All you see is uh, a grey mass. They put that much in buildings. You stand away, two, three or four feet away. And you, or on the other side of the room, you look across. I say, what's on that picture over there? Shall we go and have a look? Now, man, you can just look at them. I like a striking picture. Oh, where are we? We're still carrying on. 
Okay, let's stop it.